is the budget 3D scanner. One problem it has is it sometimes has trouble scanning certain surfaces and like all 3D scanners it cannot scan transparent or shiny ones. I'm going to be showing you how you can use super cheap dry shampoo from your local supermarket instead of premium scanning spray to achieve incredible results for a tenth of the price. Hey everyone, I'm Tommy and today I'm going to be showing you how I use cheap dry shampoo to 3D scan objects I would have never been able to. To do this I first looked at the local retailers selling the product and what one had the best value. After picking up the can I set up my model on the turntable and as seen in the intro began spraying a heavy coat of spray. You'll want to make sure as much of the surface is as matte as possible as any shiny surfaces left on the model could mess up the scan. I then began the regular scanning process which did take a few tries and I did mess up a few times, there's no footage unfortunately, but on the final attempt I got a great result. Heading over to Mesh Mixer, I removed the turntable from my model and took a look at what the model looked like in Cura and what a 50% scale model looked like in Lychee, my resin slicer of choice. If this video gets 15 likes, I'll print out a half scale model bottle in clear resin. Now, I must mention that premium scanning spray does exist for a reason. It is specifically engineered for 3D scanning while dry shampoo is not. Scanning spray is also easier to use, leaves a better finish and also self evaporates without any need for cleaner but it is also 10 times the price. So using it really depends on the situation you are in. For me, as a hobbyist who wants to scan the occasional shiny part or complex one, dry shampoo for the price is good enough. But if you are a professional who does this as a job, or you need no compromises when scanning, I'd probably invest in a can or two of proper spray. I must also say I'm not a professional when it comes to 3D scanning, but if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. As always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.